Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I've gotten my boxy lux box for the month of June. And she looks butchered. She looks like she went through hell on her way to my house. So we're gonna dive on in. I will let you know what variation I got. This box is a little on the heavy side. All right, we're gonna dive on in. The shape is different. Usually the lux box is a little bigger. I'm gonna go with what you guys are saying and I'm just going to agree that they're just changing the sizes of the box based on whatever items are gonna be inside. I don't know. Let's move on. Oh my God. My box really was butchered. Look, poor thing. My variation is 6B and the theme is boxy getaway. You guys know the theme for the Luxe box and the base box is always going to be the same for the month. Okay, now that the box is on my lap and I can actually get into this stuff, the first item in here is the PYT hair dryer i wanted like a non-basic color i mean all the colors were really pretty but i wanted something nice and bright let's see what i got i bet i got the blue oh yeah i didn't get the blue ty is gonna be pissed ty wanted me to get the blue so she could use it okay so i ended up getting like this bright corally orange shade it's really pretty okay the wire looks like it's nice and long i wonder if i should pack this on vacation I just plugged her in. The wire is decently long, which is really nice. This is not like like crazy heavy either. It's kind of light. Then you have this headpiece here, which is so that you can diffuse um, your hair. This is great for people with curly hair. If you have wavy hair, this is awesome. And then this one over here is more for like a blowout. So you have like that, I don't know, like seamless kind of like slick hair. Now I did plug her in. Let's see what she sounds like. I'm scared. Okay, now uh, let's go to number two, which I'm assuming would be high. Okay, so it does get really nice and hot. Like, is it really gonna burn you? I don't think so. Um, it does get nice and hot though. Uh, the back is not super hot either. As you can see, I did kind of like aim it at my hair on the low setting. It's not gonna be like super strong, so it'll, you'll feel it, it'll do its thing, but it's not gonna get super, super hot and it's you're not gonna feel like that much, you know, going on. But with uh, setting number two, which I'm assuming would be high, you did see it did a lot more had a lot more power and it did get pretty hot with number two so i'm gonna go ahead and take this on vacation test it out and then when i do my boxy like follow up then i'll go ahead and let you guys know if it worked it didn't work did it like die on me did it not uh, all that good stuff all right let's move forward with the items in the box i'm excited because okay so i know that i wanted the cream too and i wanted to try it but at the same time this seems to bring a lot more product. This is 7.5 ounces. So I'm down for this. This is their full dry volume blast. I wanna smell it. I wanna see what it smells like, but all living proof stuff like smells really nice. Oh, that smells so nice. Okay, so I'm excited. My hair's up and it's really dirty and I need to wash it, but I, do you see this? It's dirty. I need to wash it, but I'm so, excited for this product the next item is the skin and co spray this is the truffle therapy illuminating skin refresh mist i already own this i mean i lost the cap but i still have it i don't find anything like extremely amazing i've only used it a few times um what can i say about it it smells like mint that's as best as i can tell you and it does give you that cooling kind of refreshing feeling on your face I don't think it did much of anything when I applied it over my makeup. Then again, it is a skincare item. So I would say use this like over your moisturizers and your serums right before going to bed, you know, just because it's supposed to help illuminate your skin and bring out like your natural glow. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to add it to my giveaway bin because I don't need two of them. Then I got the Dr. Brand Clean Biotic, and this is their pH Balanced Yogurt Cleanser. All of these items, I'm just going to take on vacation with me and give them a try because how will I really know if I like it unless I pack it, right? And then have no choice but just to use these items. I'm just going to squeeze some out here. Okay. It is not white. As you can see, the cap has like a very tinted 
light green and this cream actually is basically kind of like a very very light mint green i don't smell anything okay i don't find that it has any type of scent personally my opinion so yeah let's see and then it's a cleanser so i'm gonna use it tonight to remove my makeup and then we'll see how that feels and how that goes i just really wanted to show you guys the items in the box not every single one of them is a makeup product so i am not going to be trying these items on my skin right now maybe i can do a tutorial later but i really wanted to do the unboxing and show you guys this actually feels nice obviously i would have to go wash it off but it feels like it's tacky so i feel like it'll it'll do a good job cleansing we'll try it out later but it doesn't really have much of a scent which is a little disappointing to me i also got the pharmacy honeymoon glow i am excited for this and it comes with a pump which is just amazing come on prime 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 let's get it out this here is an FHA resurfacing night cream with hydrating honey and gentle flower acids. So it has a little bit, just like the uh, cleanser had like a very light mint green tint. This has like a very light uh, baby yellow type of color. It doesn't have a scent either. I can't, I'm kind of looking forward to scents. I don't know why. Okay, so it doesn't really have much of a scent. I thought it would smell like honey or something, and it doesn't. All right, but it feels like a very hydrating serum. It feels really nice. I'm not mad at it. I just wish it had like a very light sweet scent or something. I received another of the Touch and Soul No Pore Blem Prime Essence. This baby has been right here with me. I've been using it every single freaking day and it's just like amazing. It's been working really well for my skin. I mean, I don't know, my skin is looking really good. The makeup has not moved anywhere and at least that's my experience and it feels like water, which is even better. I don't, I don't even know. If you received your box and you're loving this, let us know down below, like, am I right? It feels like cooling water. It doesn't really feel like an oil. I was really excited to unbox this box. Personally, I'm liking every single thing in here. I mean, I would tweak like the scent situation, but I'm liking everything in here. And look at that. I received this shade here, which is peach tea. Now, the last one I got was strawberry lemonade. And this one is peach tea, so it's more of a peachy shade. I am going to swatch it swatch it here and thank you guys so much for all the compliments i received so many compliments on the lip gloss when i applied it on my lips i actually really have been liking it see it's it's more it, it's kind of like peachy it looks pink but it's more peachy than pink and i'm not a lip gloss person and i want to be clear that's why i keep saying it it's not like i'm oh my god i'm loving these lip glosses because they're kristen dominique's brand i don't like lip glosses However, this one is actually nice and comfortable and I like that it's not super sticky and it's pretty long lasting on the lips. And I did force myself to only carry the other one that I received in my bag so that when I had to reapply a, like a lippy, it would be that. And I actually wasn't really mad at it. I like how it faded nice and gracefully. So I'm really happy that I ended up getting peach tea because now I have both shades. I did get the Trustique Mascara. I thought this was a little gimmicky because we didn't we get a lash curler last month, but I totally get it. This is gonna be amazing for travel if I like the formula. So it's really cool because you do have a lash curler here and you can technically, if you were to go like half and half, you could totally curl your entire lash, like top lash. But if you only wanted that cat eye effect, then you can only curl the outer corners of your lashes which is basically what I'm gonna use this for. At first, I was just like, but why? But I get it. So this piece here, you're going to pull back. And when you do pull it back, you can actually curl your lashes. It's pretty like flimsy feeling, but I, I get it. This is gonna be great for travel purposes. And then you can twist up and then you have your mascara. This wand is pretty different. I'm just going to, not that it's gonna do anything because I already had mascara on. I don't know that I would actually use the curler off the mascara. I'm gonna play around with it and see. Um, would you use the curler like on an ongoing basis or no? 
And then I am excited. This is the very last product in the box, but I wanted this so bad. This is the Tardis Pro Glow Volume 3 palette. Look how pretty she is. Okay, so I wanted this one because although it does have two blush shades, which I don't really care for, if I'm honest, they're a little light for me. I can pull them off, but still, they're a little light. I really wanted these highlighter shades and the bronzer in one palette. Look at those highlighters. Like, I feel... Like, they're just gonna look so good. Look look at the reflect, like, oh, come on. And then the two bronzy shades, which I feel like are gonna work really nicely for me, so I'm really excited. I will tell you though, like, as I am blending the highlighter on my fingers, I feel like I expected them to be a little softer, like, more buttery, you know? And I, I, I don't feel like they're as buttery as I thought they would be. But you know what? That's cool because look how reflective it is anyway. That's, you know, I'm going to apply some now. I'm just going to do it because I'm curious. <laughs> okay, now I look like a highlight mess because this is just too much. But the highlighter is good. I'll film a video showing you guys what it looks like. Moment of Truth Variation 6B has a retail value of $352. Granted, the most expensive item in the box is the PYT Mini Hair Dryer. I am going to put it to use, so I hope that it is absolutely worth the 85 bucks. Um, but still, that is a great value for the price of the box. All right, guys, that is a wrap for this video. Make sure you let me know down below which item in this box was your favorite for this month. If you haven't received it, which one are you looking forward to the most? Also, I want you guys to keep your eyes peeled for the very next video, which is going to be my second Boxy Lux unboxing. And there may or may not be a little surprise in that video. Also, be on the lookout because I will be doing a tutorial using the makeup items in this box showing you how I would use them for the eyes for the cheeks highlight bronzing and all that good stuff thank you for spending some time with me today and I'll see you guys on the next video bye guys hey guys before you go don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms which you'll find here on screen also if you've enjoyed this video then make sure you check out the other videos that are popping up on the screen I am sure you're gonna enjoy those as well thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys soon bye